Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel for another 1.6 scale third party review. Today, from SSR Studios, Batman Hush 1.6 scale collectible figure. This is a figure from SSR Studios. They already did some 112 figures before and they have to release yet their Joker. Now they got this out, Batman Hush, and this is the package that it comes with here in front. You can see the figure that we will have inside. In the back, here in the down, you see SSR. On the sides, the same pattern, where you can see the Batman uh, sculpt. And on the other side, exactly the same, but with a second sculpt. So here it is the package. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. Here we have our Batman Hush from SSR Studios. This is what you will see once you open the box. But before moving on, there's also this card. This is like a certificate card from SSR, basically saying thank you for your support to the SSR team. The clothing and head sculpt of this limited collection are all handmade by our designer team. We will work hard to bring better work to all customers. So basically this is a limited edition by SSR Studios and that's all packed in one layer. So we are just going to check the accessories here. I'm not going to take them all out and starting here with this uh, hook, with this grappling hook that it's kind of huge as you can see. It's in plastic but it looks quite nice, the painting on it and the details are quite nice. It does have some weathering on it to portray the steel and comes with a kind of very large string that then you can use for your poses. I'm not sure if I'm going to use Batman with this hook but it's always nice to have some accessories. We got as well four extra ends. The ends look pre pretty well then painted. They are big ends, they are not the normal ends you will see in a one scale, one six scale figure because this body of our Batman is bigger than the normal bodies but the ends are all well painted you got, let me check, three left ends and one right and the close fist the other ones are a bit more open the left ones is the ones that should be for you to use with the batterings and with the others accessories. This is a closed fist as well. Let me put the ends here aside. Then we got totally three better ranks. Here they are, silver color made of plastic. But the detail on them, they look pretty accurate. They are very pointy, made of plastic, but the design and the painting, this shining silver looks uh, very nice. We got as well here what it seemed to be okay this is another better rank but with this uh, kind of uh, i don't know really what accessory is this uh but it's like a holder for him to hold the better rank and to punch or something like that but it's the same better rank and here with this holder looks quite nice well painted no any complaints about these accessories then we got this should be exactly the extra coal is the clean one and we got the second head sculpt actually you can use this you can pose your batman and then have a second head sculpt just posed like this just like we have the head sculpt in and we are going to take a closer look on it it looks pretty clean and pretty well done this head sculpt i saw the batman hush movie a while ago but it really portrays Batman very well. Inside here it's all empty. Then you just insert it in the neck peg. But it looks quite nice. As they said, this was all handmade. I don't believe that this was mass um, in mass production. This seems to have more of a custom touch to it. But this is the second head sculpt that we will have. I'm going to take the figure out and we will check the outfit and the other head sculpt. So here we have our Batman just out of the box and just to show you here the second head sculpt that you have those bandages from Hush covering uh, half of Batman face. 
but this head sculpt really looks pretty good. You can see the detail in the eye there, and this one, how white. The, um, the teeth are well painted, they are a bit shining as well. It's not as easy to show on camera, but this head sculpt, I think the painting application really looks very, very well done. Here you can see the detail on, on the back as well. It's all covered with this bandage. I really like this head sculpt, but I think I will still use the other one on my display. As for the cape itself, the cape is made of a very soft material. It's pretty easy to work with the cape. However, as it comes out the box a bit um, messed up, maybe you will need to iron it a bit when you have the time. Uh, but the cape itself is made of a very good, very good material. The suit, it's made of uh, that kind of uh, uh, il very elastic material, very thin. But it's easy to work with it if you see that you have some parts of the suit that doesn't fit well. You can stretch it and then arrange it as you want. The body is very, very bulky. I don't know if this is... Um, custom body that SSR did or if they find some body in the market and just um, just update it or change it in some way but as you can see the body is pretty pretty bulky I'm really impressed with this figure the price of it is it's not a third party price but after you hold it in hands and you feel the material and you feel the quality of this figure you really understand why the price is a bit more expensive than a normal third party. And the fact that this is a limited edition and is all handmade really adds to the fact that the price is not that cheap. But overall, I think the work they did on this figure is very, very well done. The belt looks amazing, really. They did this belt very, very well. I really like all the details on the belt, the painting. Here, these guards with the gauntlets look very, very well done, the paint on them. But it's mainly the suit with this Batman logo here. The Batman logo is, um, is glued here, is made of some kind of rubber. But the Batman logo looks very, very good, really good. I'm really, I don't know, I don't have too much words because I'm really impressed the way SSR Studios did this figure. Here you can see the boots, the boots details look pretty nice. The, this figure is quite heavy, it's not easy to have it in hand, in hand for a long time. And as you can see the cape is really quite uh, large and you have a lot to play with it. The cape can be easy adjusted once you push the collar a bit up, then you can adjust the cape front or back and then you can choose the pose you want. But that's all for this figure. As for the articulation, I'm not going to play much with it now because I saw that I feel that this body it's very rigid and I'm a bit afraid of um, breaking the, the suit because I'm not sure what kind of joints there are inside. I know that here in the legs there are uh, double knees and as I'm afraid that the suit maybe will break here I'm not going to play much with it at this moment. I still need to study a bit more how to do uh, with the articulation and how far can I go with it. But for the arms, the extension, at least I can show you that you have a good extension. You can see the detail of the muscles here. Is They are really, really well done. Uh, here in the arms, I really don't want to, I don't want to push it here because I don't know what kind of joints there are here. Anyway, let's uh, make some simple poses and finish this unboxing. Before finishing up this unboxing, just to show you how it looks with the normal head sculpt and with the normal call, looks pretty good. I really prefer this one. For display purpose, I think I'm going to use this one. I would also want to use the other one if I had an extra figure, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to spend extra in a other figure to use that head sculpt but with this one i really like and really resembles very well the batman from the batman hush 
So here we have our Batman Hush from SSR Studios. Just a very simple poses because I still need time to work and to study the body, how far I can go with this uh, body that they use and also need to work out the cape a bit more. But anyway, I just want to give you a first end and a quick unboxing so you can see if you order it or if you still trying to find one, this is what we'll get. Thumbs up for SSR Studios, I really like this piece and I hope more third party companies follow this way, not doing requests, but doing something original. That's all for today, I will see you in the next one.